I always imagine, like plenty of people in this industry, that actresses slept with Harvey because it was good for their career. I went with no plan, no agent, very little money. Here was I meeting one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. I was going to have dinner with him at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He said, can we have a drink upstairs at yours? So obviously this is the part that's very hard to talk about. Harvey Weinstein was known to be a bully. He could do anything. He thought of himself as the sheriff in town. He scared people in the same way a gangster would. When you read about rape, you read she kicks and screams. I just froze. I said no and I pushed them away more than once. And then I just stopped. It's the collateral damage, what it does to relationships. It steals something. When I tried to tell people, they say, you better keep your mouth shut. Well, I saw a lot about how the machine works in terms of burying scandals and settlements. Nobody was ever going to win against this guy. I was hearing stories which you could dismiss as rumor. I was being told these women are crazy. You have to do something. Yesterday, you touched my priest. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Huge turning point. I couldn't believe that they were telling the story as though they were writing about me. Mr. Weinstein intends to enter a plea of not guilty. The most sinister aspect is that the system enabled it. Power. Everybody's getting a piece of it. When you pick out the most grotesque, there's the sense that, okay, we've taken care of the problem. It's not over. It continues.